All right, welcome back to another video. We're going to be hitting up chest today. Now, this is going to be the first workout uh, post the deload. And I have a little bit of a sort of, I'm in a bit of a quandary. I have another plant deload coming up in, I think it's about four or five weeks time from now, just another family trip. Um, so we need to try and make every, every set, or sorry, every workout between now and then count, just because this mesocycle is going to be shorter than it would normally be. Um, but having said that, because we're at post deload, we're not going to have. I'm not going to have the same sort of strength that I would have had, you know, just before the deload. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, we'll do still do the same three, the same three chest exercises: flat dumbbell press, incline dumbbell press, flies. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to try and just push, uh, use, a, keep going up on weight uh, until I get to a weight where I fail to get a, a full ten reps with it. And at that point, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to gas myself out with a, a load of length and partials. Um, I may throw a drop set on, I don't know. I'll see how I feel as, we're, how, how I feel as the, the workout's going on. Um, don't like to drop, put drop sets in too, too early in a mesocycle, although this mesocycle's gonna be short, so pff. Anyway, um, so yes, uh, we'll just work our way up and up and wait until we get to a, a point where we, we fail, and then we'll do a bunch of length and partials, and then we'll call it a day. And uh, again, we'll do like a reverse pyramid, sort of idea on the incline in the incline dumbbell press and again we'll just keep going until we hit failure and then try and push past that with some some length and partials so well anyway let's get to it <laughs>
right, that's going to do it for chest. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed with just how much, just how much strength I lost um, in this workout. But I've set myself up well for going forward for next week. Um, we did have to drop down a good bit of, a good bit of weight. I dropped down to, I think only went up to the 35s on the flat dumbbell press. Um, but I tried to keep the, the reps nice and strict as strict as I could. And then whenever we got the failure, we just blasted on past it with a load of length and partials. Um, and I tried to do that for as many of the sets as I felt felt capable of. So, you know, all in all, it could have been it could have been worse. I'm disappointed just of having lost so much strength. Although to be honest, that that always happens whenever you whenever you do a deload, you do although you give the, the, the muscle a bit of a break and you, you recover your fatigue, you do, you, you, there's no way around it. Like you haven't trained, haven't trained chest for proper chest workout for two weeks now. Um, so you, I have lost a bit of strength and that's to be expected. So it is, but it is what it is. It gives me a good idea going forward next week of what I can expect to, to kind of achieve. Plus, because I only did the three sets in the flat dumbbell press, it means that I can, I can add in extra sets next week and the week after. In fact, I could probably add in extra sets until the next meso cycle. Just here and there, but we'll add them in. We'll not go crazy. We'll add them in where we where I'll add them in where I feel that they're going to do give me the most benefit. Um, if it you know if, if I need to just if I find myself not making as much progress next week as what I would like, then I can throw in an extra set to see does that help in the you know in the subsequent weeks or the the, the follow on weeks. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video, be the anabolic algorithm with a comment, share, likes, and subscribes, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.